Hi, everybody. Welcome to Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City, along with Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. Western Conference showdown tonight. They're not going all the way to the east, but still some hard miles for these teams. I always thought it was an exaggeration how much the travel is affects the teams in the Western Conference until I got traded there. And then I was like, <laughs> oh my God, I'm in the plane the whole time. It really matters. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. The Blackhawks take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. That's blocked. Moves it to Rantanen. The Avs are on the attack. Drives to the sweet spot. Picked up along the boards by Kane. Chicago's moving it up the ice. Slides it back to the blue line. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Frank Cruz has been working on controlling the puck after he stops it. Here he does a nice job. Stopped by the goaltender. From the slot, wrist shot, and that's blocked. A chance Whoa. up front. He scores. I don't think anybody's really settled into the game yet. Already we have the game's first goal. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. The Blackhawks make their way back to center. What's the conversation here? I don't know that there's any real great conversation to be had, except you've got the early lead on the road. It couldn't start any better than this. Tave setting up against the wall. The Blackhawks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Athenasi, who's got it against the boards. Shoots it, comes up with the stop. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Frank Cruz makes a terrific stop, but he doesn't get all of it, and he's pretty fortunate it doesn't bounce off him and into the net. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Picked up along the wall by Taves. And he'll take a step back here deep inside his own zone. Feeds it on over to Taves. The Avs take it along the wall. Quick pass to Landeskog. Scores! What a finish! James, he's known for this. When there's loose pucks around the front of the net, he always seems to be able to get a stick on it, find position, get another chance on the goal. This time, he beats the goaltender, and it's in the net. I love this. I mean, if, they, if you want to score, you got to get in where the rebound is. If you're just going to watch, pay cash and sit up with the fans. Well, he came up big because of his crease crasher zone ability, guys. He got to the rebound before the goalie could get set, and he got that goal. That was a great effort on his part to stick with it. And now it's grabbed by McCabe. Moves it quickly over to Taves. The Blackhawks play it along the wing. Stones him in front. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Puck picked up by McCall. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Blocked in front. Here's a short pass to Johnson. And that's stolen in the offensive zone. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Takes a shot. Makes a save as that goes off the glove. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Frank Cruz does it again. A man advantage break against. And he has to stand tall with a good save there. Still lots of time left in the period. We got a tie game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. 
Sends it in deep. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. The Blackhawks have it from their own end. Gustafson's got the puck in his own zone. And he takes a shot. That goes off a twig. Finds some space in the corner. Handles the puck at the point. Tries to the crease. And he comes up with it. Frank Coos is on top of the puck, stopping the play. Looks like he's seen enough. The potential to start running around in your zone causes him to cover the puck up. Kane's known for stick-handling past defenders with his puck on a string zone ability, and that's how he opens up space for himself. McKinnon's known to burn defenders with his ankle breaker zone ability. I'm expecting one of these two players to be the biggest impact for their team tonight. Back to you guys. Taken along the wall by Kubalik. And he slides it quickly to Gustafson. Big time stop there. The Avs have it now. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Oh, it's Steve. He scores! They take the lead. Well, it looked like this game was going to be even for the longest time because nobody seemed to have the upper hand. Oh, Shooter puts his own rebound away. That's a nice play. But man, the goalie burped this rebound out. Made it way too easy for him. Chicago's now up by one. What's the strategy from here on in? It's to attack. There's no defending a one goal lead with over two periods left. Go get another one. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Takes the feed. Driving right to the front. Great pressure with the stick. Handles the puck. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Here he is from the slot. Denies it in front. Scooped up along the wall by Borkstrom. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Morazic's ability to read the play helps him out here. The odd man rush means a dangerous chance, but he's right on it. Jones breaks up passes by having a good stick on the ice. His quick pick zone ability means he can be so effective at intercepting the puck, guys. Came up with the save on that play. Make the save, help yourself out at the same time. Good stop, but the better part is that he gets the puck away from the front of the net. And that's blocked away. The Blackhawks will play it from the defensive zone. And they'll dump it in. The Avs gain possession. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Drives to the paint. Gives them nothing in front. Grabbed along the board by Borkstrom. Sends it in on the attack. Colorado's got the puck. Landeskog's got it in the defensive end. The Avs take it across the line. Back to the point it goes. Stopped by the goaltender. And he regains control of the puck. And he makes the save. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Morasic's probably had a few saves tonight. He's felt better about than that one, but he got just enough of it to keep it out of the net. In the final moments of this period, the Blackhawks lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Picked up along the boards by McCarr. Great read with the stick. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Taken by Taves. The Blackhawks move to the offensive zone. Puck goes off the glove. Picked up along the wall by Taves. And that one's broken up. They go on the attack through center. Chicago's got the puck inside the defensive zone. The Blackhawks gain possession along the wall. Good eyes on the play. Both teams strike offensively as period number one comes to an end. Hey fans, now is the time to pick up your team calendars. You can pick them up at kiosk 144 on the lower level.
And as both teams head to their respective rooms, two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The Avs are going to have to find a possession game that looks a lot different than that first period. They chased it around, and as a result, they're chasing the game. Denied that one. Takes the puck behind the net. Shot! Denies him in close. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. From in close! Stopped by the goaltender. Move to the middle! And that's broken up. Yeah, puck doesn't get to the net. Good positioning by the defender. Dished on over to Rantanen. And now he moves it quickly to Landeskog. Here he is in front! Takes that one right in the logo. That's a great scoring chance turned aside. The blocker save denies the shot. Lots of time left in this period. It's a 2-1 hockey game. Chicago's got it in the defensive zone. And that's hooked away. It on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Hey, getting another look at that one, James, right here. Look at that save. Just a piece, just enough to keep it out of the net. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. McKinnon's won the draw. Puck scooped up by Landeskog. The Avs looking against the half wall. Shoots it on the backhand. He scores! The captain leading by example. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. The Avalanche have given us a new game here early in the second as they have tied things up. Worked hard to get themselves back into this position to make it a new game. Puck grab by McCarr. Sent into the offensive zone. The Blackhawks scoop it up along the boards. Through center. Fires it. Denies him with the pad. Nice pass. The Avs move it in. Makes a move in front. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck. Across the line from center. From one point man to another. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. You don't want to give up too many of these during the course of the game. The odd man rush puts the goalie on alert, but he makes a good stop. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. A chance! Denied by the goaltender. Frank Kuz gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice. Get yourself restarted. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. 
The Blackhawks gain control of the puck against the wall. Chicago's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Francouz. And now it's grabbed by Nachuskin. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Throws it in. The Blackhawks gain control of the puck. The Avs gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Receives the pass. Chicago's got the puck in their own end. Here he is, wristed on net. Big save. Frank Cruz has kept this game close. I don't know if it would be this way if it wasn't for his heroics in goal. Chicago's gained possession along the boards. Slides it across to Johnson. Nice zone entry on the left side. Drives it to the crease. And we got a leader as he tucks it into the net. These teams are jammed together. That goal might open it up. You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot. You're open. But you know everybody's converging on you. The Blackhawks take a one goal lead here in the second. This game doesn't look like it's going to stretch out at all now, James. Even though there is a lead, it seems like it'll stay close. Slides the puck over. Let's it go! Pad save! He's on it tonight! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Past the midway mark in this period. Chicago's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Johnson swooping in on the attack. Cuts to the front, and that's broken up. Keeps hold of the puck, and that banks off a stick. And that pass can't connect. Johnson's dangerous, and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. Quick feed to Athanasiu. He grabs the puck here at the point. Taken by Lekanen. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Dumps it in. The Blackhawks have it against the wall. Moves the puck. Tosses it on to Taves. Gains the zone through the middle. Moves inside! Stopped by the goaltender. Excellent chance. They worked the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Here's a chance! That's gloved by Morazic. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. You don't get many of these odd man rushes in the game. They executed pretty well, but the goalie's better and turns it aside. Here in the later stages of this period, Chicago's got a 3-2 lead at this point. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. And now he angles it across to Kubalik. Sends a pass over. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's a chance. Whoa. Scores! Oh, what a finish on his part. Great hands, and you know that the player is confident when they can pull this move off in so tight. What a great play. And he finishes it by beating the goaltender. I've seen him do this a number of times, James, where he makes that fake, yet doesn't lose sight of where everything else is on the ice. He gets in on the net and doesn't miss. It's tough to keep an eye on his quick hands when he's got stick handling skills like we just saw. His puck on a string zone ability, it really bothers goaltenders. And it's exactly what allowed him to put one on the board there, guys. Poked away by Gustafson. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Hammers one at the net. Denies him. He got all of it. The Avs will play it in their own end. And there's the save. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end.
Don't go anywhere. Third period is coming up, and it's coming up next. to go, Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski bringing you all the action. Moves the puck along the half wall. Centering pass! Turns it away! These are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. Here's a shot! Scores! What finish! It was like the puck was on a string! So good in that position where you drag the defender in tight where they think they've got a real chance to stop the play. And then you make one more move. What a great play and a great finish. He's got such great agility with the puck, James. We see it right here where he dangles the defenseman right out of position. And now he's got a chance to score and does not miss. He stick handles so well, guys, and that goal is how he can create something out of nothing. It's his puck on a string zone ability, and he finished off that sequence, making it look so easy. Here he is in close. Stones him in front. Taken along the wall by McKinnon. Puck picked up by Kane. One minute, five seconds. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Off a stick. Scooped up along the wall by Landeskog. Back to the blue line. Comes up with the stop. Morazic's gonna opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. The goalie reads this man advantage break perfectly and is in position to make the save. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Blackhawks just recently adding to their lead. They're now up by three. Right in the slot! Denies him in front! And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Oh, he just got enough of that one to turn it aside. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. Colorado's won the draw. Here he is, shot right in front! Blocked in traffic. Moves it to Domi. The Blackhawks take it across the blue line. Here's a chance. Fires the wrist shot. He was totally locked in on that play. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Wrist shot from the slot. Gives them nothing in front. He reacts late, but he made... He scores! That's Miko Rantanen! The goalie gets overpowered here. He gets a little piece of the shot. It goes past him anyway. The Avalanche have got one back, but they still trail by two in the third. Yeah, James, and this is a big hole because you're not going to inch your way back. You've got to take the period over. Puck scooped up by McCarr. Colorado's got it along the wall. And that's picked off. Gains the zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And that clangs off the iron. Chicago's lead will stay the same. That's a really good chance that just by an inch or so hits the post and stays out. His reflexes on display tonight. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. Morazic's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Well, this could have stepped out the lead a little bit here. The shot hits the goal post and does not go in. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Colorado still down by two goals in this one. Taves has it in their own end. Takes the pass. 
Down the right side and into the zone. Puts it on net. Gets some big air, but this ain't skiing, Razor. Nah, he's trying to get right up underneath the bar. Try to get it over the goaltender's shoulders, but just elevates it a little bit too much. Stuffs him again. Yeah, he's pretty good positioning here, James. He makes the two stops back to back. Frank Kuz takes that scoring chance and sticks it away. The setters will glide into the dot. The Avs win the draw. Slides the puck to Nichushkin. From the right side, they gain the zone. Takes a shot, and that one stopped. Morazic's gonna smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Chicago's won the draw. Sends the pass over. From center, they get into the attacking area. Let's it fly. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Kicked away. Nice pass saved by the goaltender. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. The Avs will lose a man tripping the call. They're going to be down a man here. Once he gets his stick into the player's feet, it's almost inevitable a tripping penalty will result. Tough to argue that call. Chicago's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. The power play guys are pumped here. They haven't had any chances tonight. Here's their first. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Chicago's got it from behind the net. Here they come up along the wing. Takes it to the front! The Avs will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And the puck skips out onto the bench. We're gonna face off. Johnson's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. The Avs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Chicago's got a hold of the puck now. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Johnson's got it into offensive territory. Koopa Leak's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. Great pressure on the offensive end by Johnson. Quick pass to Koopa Leak. Oh, there's a great stop by Francouz. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Club save. Now a quick pass to Kubalik. What a wild offensive night this has been. The real crazy part is both teams are in on it. It's no runaway. Somebody is going to score a couple of goals before the end of this, and that's going to be the difference. Colorado's on the attack. And that's off a stick. Grabbed along the boards by Helm. The Blackhawks look to start the transition game. Works it across to Kubalik. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a shot. Denies him with the pad. Moves it quickly over to Rantanen. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Can't get it to go. Picked up along the boards by McKinnon. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Jones works the puck in his own zone. Up along the wing. A chance on goal. No room for that one to get through. Johnson stick handling in his own zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Here's a shot, and that one's turned away. Puts it up front, and that's blocked. Chicago's ready to go on the attack. Quick shot, kicked away. Picked up along the wall by Johnson. Puck grabbed by McKinnon. Directs it on over to Johnson. Takes the feed. Into the offensive zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Colorado's emptied the net. The extra attacker's now out on the ice. 
Chicago's got the puck in the defensive end. To the empty net. Misses. The Avalanche have it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Back at the point, they set it up. A chance to ice it into the empty net. Can't get it to go. Makar's taking it from his own end. Feeds it over to Rantanen. And that's picked off in the defensive end. The Blackhawks have continually put themselves in good positions defensively tonight. It seems like every shift they're stealing a puck. Tries to get it to Kane. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. Pretty good hockey game, and I guess they can say they did some good things, like they had a better face-off percentage, but not enough, James. Is this sometimes the case, though, the numbers lie? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, great, you won the face-off, you didn't score enough. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.